I hope you enjoyed building web browsers and really got a great start understanding how iOS development actually works. Now let's move on to our second app. Noted is a simple notepad app modeled on the iOS System Notes app. You'll be able to create simple text notes, edit them, delete them, and your notes will be stored as JSON data on your device. We'll work with an important system view controller that simplifies the construction of the kind of master detail view controller hierarchies that we're using for this app design. As a result, Noted works great on the full range of iPhones, iPads, including iPhone Pluses. As a sample of some of the topics we'll cover whilst implementing this app, we'll create our first model class and our first data source controller. We'll start using Swift's native JSON encoding and decoding. We'll employ the notification center design pattern in order to respond to system event notifications. We'll use the dispatch library to perform asynchronous work and keep our user interface smooth. In order to do that, we'll work with Swift closures for the first time. From new UI kit components, we'll work with UI table view controller and UI text view for the first time. This time around, we'll be doing real navigation, so we'll use storyboard segues and UI split view controller. This app requires text input, so that means we'll be managing the keyboard for the first time. We'll also be creating our own delegate protocol and implementing equality for our model type with the equatable protocol. As usual, our first step is to create the project, so let's go right ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and make the new project for Noted. As before, file, new project. And this time in the iOS section, we're going to be using Master Detail app. Name our project. Make sure that the tick boxes at the bottom are deselected. Save the project. And we're now in Xcode. So before we go on further, I'm going to run the Noted app on a range of different simulators in order to demonstrate the power of the UI split view controller that we'll be using for this project. So let's just let the template app build. And first time around, I'm going to run on an iPhone 6 simulator. And let's run the app on the iPhone 6. Okay, and on the iPhone 6, you see that the template for Master Detail has quite a lot of code included. You see we have a table here. We'll be working through this. You can press the plus button. And when we select a cell, we're taken to a detail view and we can navigate back. You're probably familiar with this pattern from other apps. However, if we go on now to run the app on an iPhone 6 Plus, So here we have the app running on the 6 Plus. You'll see when we start off, it looks very similar to the iPhone version. However, let's rotate the device. You can access rotation for the simulator from the hardware menu. There's also a keyboard shortcut. Let's rotate to the left. And you'll see that the way the split view controller works is the master view controller will be put onto the left and we'll have the detail view controller on the right. This is possible because the 6 Plus or the Plus devices have much larger screens. And we can also expand to full size. Let's rotate back. And for our final example, let's run on an iPad. So here we are running on the iPad. On the iPad, the template app opens immediately into the detail view, but we can pull up the master view control onto the left-hand side, and we can tap to open the detail because of the iPad of course has a great deal of screen real estate space. So I just wanted to demonstrate the power of using UI split view controller. We get a lot of behavior in the user interface for free when we're creating this kind of master detail app, just as we're doing with the noted notepad app.